Hello, my beautiful Scorpions. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Alrighty. Okay, so in your person's energy here, they are trying to build up the courage to either take a new path here or create some sort of change. Because with the card being number one, it talks about a brand new cycle, a new beginning. Okay, this could be someone who has a lot on their mind um, and they're building the courage to like come forward. But more than that, I see someone who's building the courage to like take a new path, a path that they have never gone on before. Um, something that feels like it's not familiar territory. How you would know who this is, um, I'm being drawn to the armor there. So it's someone who is, you know, even if they communicate with you, they're still a bit guarded or they're still a bit held back. Yeah, some sort of resistance here, Scorpio. behind a mask. I wonder if there was some sort of, you know, secrecy in the past here, or you feel like this person was hiding something from you because with the first card, I already picked up on the energy of someone being open with you, but to an extent, or like, um, you know, they're, they're a bit guarded. Like even if they communicate with you, you always feel like there's something left unsaid here. Um, and an intention behind a mask so they're making a plan but they don't want you to know about it and again this could obviously be someone where you felt like there was a lot of secrecy as much as you felt the emotion there you may have always felt that mm, there's something this person's not telling me like more of like a gut feeling is what i sense And this is hidden from you also, the fact that they want to, uh, you know, work on things behind a mask. And then the card number is three, which talks about like coming together or collaboration. So I wonder if this person speaking to you, is it on a topical level or are you guys not speaking at all? But this person, you know, this is what's in their intentions. This is what they're energetically you know, thinking about here. The loving man. Okay. So don't get caught up in, you know, the gender. It could be the, a woman that you are obviously involved with here. But what I see is essentially someone who wants to come forward and express their love to you. Again, we see five, but there needs to be some sort of obstacle that they overcome. There's, there could have been a change that took place in this connection that they're build, building the courage to like solve. Like if the change took place, um, you know, in terms of like, you know, a lack of consistency or this person feeling that, um, you know, you guys don't speak as much as you used to. Like they feel like something here requires a lot of courage. Courage. And for some of you, it could just be this person being more open with you, especially if it's someone who's not comfortable with their emotions. I see that it's someone who loves you. It's someone who wants to, um, you know, cherish you here. Um, but I do feel like they are overcoming something within them, right? It could be an internal change. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, the Moon. Wondering how you feel. You know, you're very difficult to read at this time for this person and Ten of Wands in reverse. They don't want to let you go. This is someone who feels like there's unfinished business here or they're having a very tough time accepting that a cycle may be over. Because if, because the Ten of Wands in reverse, it could talk about someone who doesn't want something to end. And with your first card being the number one, like I mentioned, it talks about new cycles, a new beginning. Judgment, yeah, this is symbolic for birth. And then we have death here, which lets me know that your person is leaving behind essentially something that no longer serves them because they want to create change they want you know it's like they fantasize about a life with you but there's some sort of blockage here so whether it's another situation they need to let go of <clears throat> a behavioral trait right they know that they need to um, address something here and i feel like it's something internal or something they're attached to okay Two of Pentacles. 
some of you, right, um, I mean, your energy is here, and then we have two of pentacles. For some of you, you may have closed out a cycle with this person because you felt like they were not making a decision as to what they wanted here. Sorry about that, guys. That uh, It was my neighbors. Okay, so the tower as well as the two of pentacles here, right? The, like this person, you may have had to walk away from them because you gave them some sort of ultimatum, but you felt like they weren't making a decision. And again, guys, if it wasn't like between you and another person, they had a lot on their plate or you felt like they were juggling. Okay, so ultimately you felt like they were not prioritizing the connection the same way that you were. That's how you would know who this is. Um, and again, with the tower, maybe you just had to close the cycle out very abruptly. Maybe there was no explanation. There was no closure here, but you knew that it had to come to an end because it, the connection was not being built on a stable foundation. So even if you have love for this person, you feel like it needs to be built on, you know, firm, a uh, uh, stable foundation here, but also you feel like this person needs to stop being so discreet. Like there's, there's this energy of you wanting this person to be more open with you. So essentially, you want this person to be open with you behind a mask. Let's see. Wanting a new beginning here, but some of you feel like this person's perspective needs to change. Like, here's what I see. There is a lot that's coming to light for your person, but it's almost like they're picking and choosing what to notice or, or, or you know, what to pay attention to. And it could be that this is someone who has a hard time dealing with emotions that are negative, but on the flip side, you may feel like it's crucial for this person to think about the negative emotions also so that you guys can overcome them. It's definitely someone who's very passionate about you and wants a new beginning here, but with that sun in reverse, I wonder, excuse me, I wonder if you are not sure. You are, you know, there's, this indecisive energy in the past here that really rubbed you the wrong way, right? And it upset you. So now you're wondering what has changed, okay? Yeah, they want to rush in and communicate with you because they're tired of waiting and they feel like you emotionally fulfill them. Hmm. Some of you may be involved with a Leo here or another fire sign, Aries or a Sagittarius. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse again, not wanting to let things go. This is someone who understands that things were very one-sided or again, they were not giving to the connection as much as they were receiving from it. And they know that you've tried time and time again. Like this is an energy of like, this person feeling like you never gave up on them, right? It, no matter what you guys went through here until you had no choice but to do so. But you leaving this person's life or you being very blunt with them and bringing, bringing forward some sort of truth really you know, um, made this person wake up to the reality of things. They don't wanna view you as a missed opportunity. And I'll tell you if, you, if you are not speaking to this person right now, they feel like they wanna to speak to you again. Because Ten of Wands in reverse, it's like, I can't let go of Scorpio. Like, I, I think about them every day. This is not over, right? Tower, Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse. Could be um, an age gap here, guys, or it could be that there are children in this dynamic, but I feel like this person wants to reach out to you. Look at this, guys. This is what they obsessively think about. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, but the Devil, Ten of Cups. They want commitment with you, Scorpio, and the blockage here is how they acted in the past. That Two of Pentacles energy, it made you view them in such an unstable manner. Like, you view them as someone who, who is confused or doesn't know what they want, and, and then it, in turn, it was kind of resulting in you feeling very confused. So this person feels like they have a lot to prove to you. What do they want to say with the Page of Wands? Page of Wands in reverse. They're holding back though. That's the thing. Like, It's this energy of someone who wants to express okay, their emotions to you. They want to, you know, take, you know, have a brand new beginning here, but they're very unsure about like this path that they have to take, or they're unsure of letting go of something because they don't know if it's going to be their desired outcome. There's a lot of fear surrounding the outcome. So it could even be fear of rejection here. Uh, Page of 
This is what they want to communicate to you. King of Cups, Four of Wands, that they want to be with you. You know, I'm reading you as the King of Cups here. They feel like you're so nurturing. Something about you, you know, gives them a lot of security, you know, on an emotional level also. They feel like you're a very good lover. Like they never have to question how, how you're feeling about them. They always feel important around you. They always feel loved. They always feel special, you know, you name it. Four of Wands, this is someone who wants to come together with you. So this could be, you know, reconciliation that later, you know, um, leads to a higher level of commitment or marriage. What's interesting to me, though, though <clears throat> is the fact that Page of Wands is in reverse there. So it's like, this is what they're holding back from telling you. What really is the blockage here? See, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like because the commitment didn't work out in the past, you're no longer interested with that Four of Cups. You guys could be in a very nonchalant energy or even if you still care about the situation, you're doing a good job at kind of just keeping your emotions intact. For those of you that it was you that specifically walked away because this person was failing to make a decision, they are very intimidated to come back. They're very um, stressed out about figuring out the right thing to say. I see them overcoming their fear, though, because Knight of Swords talks about like rushing in with communication, the world wanting a turn of events, yeah. I just feel like this is someone who is who feels like this takes a lot in them, like from them, you know? It's like... Um, I need to come forward. I want to be honest with Scorpio, but also there's like this energy of what if Scorpio just turns me down? And this could just be like um, someone who, who is in, you know, like a negative mindset at this time, or they feel like they have a right to feel that way because there could be some guilt here surrounding them being ind indecisive in the past. Uh, the sun and the ace of wands. judgment again guys this person wants to let go of something in order to be with you this could just be again not being expressive enough or in the past they told you they didn't want to be in a commitment but essentially they did it's someone who just was masking their emotions here what's the judgment So behind the mask is, you know, we have five of pentacles, but all of these cards are clarifying the first card, which is behind, uh, you know, a mask here. This person portrays themselves to be fine. Like they, you know, maybe they're posting on social media, they're, you know, they're going out with their friends, that sort of thing. But deep inside, they're hurting. This is something that they think about. They feel very left out in the cold. And with it in reverse, what they want is to come back into your life. I see a lot of cards of like wanting to rush in, wanting to speak to you. Do I see that there's some sort of fear here? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't think that that's going to stop your person because we do have the Knight of Swords, King of Cups, Four of Wands, like someone who feels like, okay, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe Scorpio might not feel the same way, but I still love Scorpio. Like I want to tell them this. I can't make it up, guys. Nine of Cups, you really make this person happy. Like, this is someone where when they don't speak to you, they can feel it, you know? Like, they wake up in the morning and they're excited to text you or or, or every time their phone, you know, um, you know, uh, rings, they hope it's you. Like, it's like you bring them so much happiness that they can't hold back. Like, as much as there's fear here, as much as there's this energy of this person needing to build up the courage to do so, they feel like their, em their emotions outweigh the fear. Wow. Slowly moving towards you is what I see. It's someone who's also wondering if you're still, like, single, because Nine of Pentacles could be a single energy, and then Nine of Swords is behind that. So it's like, is Scorpio still single? Is Scorpio speaking to someone else? You know, are they, you know, receiving the attention elsewhere? Like that could just be something that they're wondering. It doesn't mean that you are, um, you know, receiving attention elsewhere. It's just, you know, their perception, like they're wondering. Kind of wands in reverse. We have two pages in reverse. So it lets me know that this person, you know, the inner conflict is constantly wanting to reach out to you and then holding themselves back. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, th this person is really wondering if you're doing better off without them. Like, if they were to come back into your life, like, how would that serve you? Like, it, they're very hard on their self right now. Eight of Wands, yeah, wanting to communicate, wanting to move to calmer waters. And we see the Queen of Cups here. 
could be involved with another water sign or this person just feels like you guys are meant to be. Why is there this energy of this person, you know, being so hard on their self or constantly holding back? The Empress in reverse. This person is having a hard time believing that things would work out in their favor. And in their favor, I mean, you know, with the four of wands, they want reconciliation. They want a commitment. But they all, like pretty much what I see here, guys, if I was to boil down your person's energy, it's someone who has like a um, like they're, they're expecting the worst case scenario at this time. You understand what I'm saying, Scorpio? Like they, and it could be because they feel like they don't deserve your forgiveness, or they they could feel like you guys have been out of communication for a long time, or they haven't spoke to you in a while, so they don't know how to go about things. But it's someone who's lacking the confidence when it comes to approaching you because they feel like you're doing better off without them. Is what I see. Could be a Libra or a Taurus here with the Empress. Why is the Empress in reverse? Seven of Wands. Look at this guy. Seven of Wands in reverse. So like wanting to come out of a guarded energy and then the strength being guarded. Like this is someone who's going very back and forth in their mind right now. The emotions are here. They're, you know, the fact that they want to reconcile, it's all here. But I'm getting very repetitive messages in terms of like, this has more to do with your person's mindset, right? And of course, each, each situation is going to be different. The details are going to be different. But it's someone who feels that when they come in, you're going to be in a guarded energy, Right? And this may be the case, this may be the truth, but again, they're very focused on why things didn't work out in the past and they're just assuming the worst case scenario right now. Like it doesn't even have to be true. You may be like, you know, that's not going to happen. We're just, you know, I'm open to have a conversation, but this person's being very hard on their self right now. Give me a closing card. Hermit. They feel like there's a lot that they need to heal within themselves. A lot of internal changes that they're um, making at this time, which they feel like is crucial. And, you know, with the Hermit in reverse, again, guys, like, it talks about wanting to come out of a period of solitude. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Like, I don't want to be in this position of not speaking to Scorpio or not knowing what they're up to. Wow, Ten of Cups again. This person is definitely going to like there there's definitely fear here i you know i'm just being honest with you guys with the cards here but they are not willing to let their fear control them what i see in the near future is this person coming out of the cold here they they want to speak to you they don't want to hold back from you you know hermit in reverse five of pentacles in reverse ten of cups they don't see you know their self with anyone else other than you even just taking a look at the cards here guys like nine of cups you bringing them emotional fulfillment judgment right and the Ten of Cups, like these three cards alone, it talks about like not being able to pretend or knowing you need to leave something behind because this is the life that you want, you know, putting an end to something so you can birth something new. And speaking of birth, we have the Empress in reverse, right? So it's someone who's still, that's where the fear comes, right? Am I going to be able to have a new beginning? Am I going to be able to start again with Scorpio? But they're not, like, they're not going to let their fear control them. Because your closing card, um, I asked to clarify the Hermit in reverse, coming out of the cold, what are they going to do about it? Ten of Cups. Or like, why are they going to come out of the cold here? Because they want a commitment. And it's also someone who feels like no one gives them the feeling that you do here. There is a massive change that they're going through. So whether it's leaving behind, um, you know, another situation, relocating, or just letting go of like, like for some of you, this person could have been single for so long, or like they were non-committal for so long, you know, kind of just playing the field. And now they're realizing, no, this, this doesn't make me happy anymore. This is not what I want to do. There's something in your person's life that they do every day that no longer serves them. And they want to let, let go of that in order to be with you. And you'll know exactly what that thing is pertaining to your situation because that's the very thing that um, in the beginning you felt like you had to leave this person behind because of that. Because two of pentacles, they were juggling. They were in between worlds. So now they're making the choice and the choice seems to be you here. Okay? So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.